All right, welcome to my channel. My name is Captain Crush. I'll be your host for the next 15 or so minutes. What I do here is I break down prize picks, underdog fantasy, thrive fantasy, DraftKings, FanDuel, anything regarding fantasy sports, I will cover it. I will give you the tools to have a winning process and I will help you become a winning player. That is my goal anyways. If you wanna stick around for the next couple minutes, I wish you well. Let's get into it. All right, we have one playoff game today. Yes, one. Cannot wait for WNBA tip where we get a full slate of games but for now we got the one lakers versus the nuggets last game was a banger can we get a repeat one time where all our overs hit that was a beautiful thing 25x from me and a lot of other people that i know let's break this down lakers five and a half point underdogs they were six point dogs now they're it's the line has moved to five and a half because a ton of money went on that six myself included over under 226 you love to see a high total that should be great fantasy point value if i was going to take this now i would definitely take lakers plus five and a half probably even the money line at plus 175 it's very risky but lebron james down 0-2 in the Western Conference Finals, I don't think he's going to have it. I called the shot yesterday with the Heat. They stole game one. We will see if the Lakers can get the W here. I will take them to win personally. Let's go over to Thrive Fantasy where I discuss my two-mans. All right, and as you can see, I have two-man here for 3.2x. Adam Wainwright, three and a half Ks, take more. Next, Jamal Murray, 29.5 29.5 points rebounds. That is my favorite two man over on Thrive Fantasy. If you use promo code CRUSH, you'll get up to $250 matched 100%. Also, you'll get a free month trial into my Discord. You can't lose, but most importantly, you'll get a free square today, which will be a pick three, which will give you 5.2x if it pays out. It's a free square. You can go ahead and tail. All right. All right. So here we are with the one game. I'm going to keep this to the one game that we have right now, folks. I'm just going to stick to the one game. I, most of my audience doesn't like me putting in both games, even though I wish they would let me because that's when we can get the most value. But that being said, it's okay. So these are my two targets right here. It's not. It's no secret. There's no science behind it. It's just totally gut opinion. Captain Crush's opinion. If they sell, they sell. I ain't scared. Never scared. Bone crusher status. LeBron James, 49 fantasy points. I'm taking it. He's going to be the staple in my slips. He's going to be my play of the day. LeBron James, I got his rebounds assist at 15 and a half earlier. They bumped it to 16. So now I'm pivoting, a little divot pivot into his fantasy score at 49 fantasy points. I think it's a little bit too low given the stakes. He knows that if they go down two games, it's going to be very, very hard, even at home to win this series. So I believe that he's going to play 38 to 40 minutes tonight. Give it his all. At least I'm hoping. Same thing with the Joker over here. 64. His fantasy score total has just been rising and rising every single game. 81 fantasy points last game. 72, 67, 71, 72. So we can safely say his ceiling is going to be 75. I don't want to say it's 80 because that's obviously an outlier. Clearly he can get 80. He just proved it. But let's just say his floor is 50 and his true ceiling is probably probably 75. So at 64, I still believe we're getting value. I'm going to go over to my notepad right here and I will break this down for you. All right. So here I have my handy dandy notepad where I got my fantasy points per minute and my usage rates. Nikola Jokic, 1.75 fantasy points per minute, 27% usage rate. Jamal Murray, 1.13 fantasy points per minute, 26% usage rate. Anthony Davis, 1.53. LeBron, 1.48 with a 33% usage rate. Keep that in mind. And I'm actually going to go over to the calculator today and see what we come up with. Okay, so for Joker, 1.75. He's going to play around 38 minutes unless there's a blowout. And we get 66.5, fam. So we already know that he's at 64. So if we're going to get 66, granted, the scoring is a little bit different from DraftKings Fantasy to Prize Picks Fantasy. But here, I like it. I'm taking it. 64. It's going to be a wash. Take the over on Nikola Jokic if you're looking to target fantasy scores. If you say, Captain, I think that he's going to go out there and he's due for a stinker because he is. He's actually due for a bad game, if you ask me. But I'm not playing that narrative personally. I'm just going to keep up with the trends. As you can see, he's been the man. He is the man. He is the MVP. Let's be real. Embiid's down in Cancun sipping lattes and margaritas with the rest of the scrubs. Joker is playing for an NBA title. You do the math okay and then we have king james legoat i took his under a few times in the series with the warriors but this series is different this is this is big league this is for all the marbles this is legacy 
This is Legote's legacy right here. If he can get that next ring, oh boy, it's going to change the conversation. You best believe it. So I will continue to take more on LeBron James. I will roll those dice because I'm not scared. And I will throw in the best defensive center in the league right now, Anthony Davis, 53 fantasy points. I like it. I will throw him in there. Jamal Murray, yes, I'm taking him over too. 41 fantasy points. I believe it was at 42.5 on underdog. We're getting a 1.5 fantasy point discount here. I like it. If they are going to win tonight, it's going to be because Jamal and Joker keep crushing and they get a few little help from Gordon Porter and Pope and a little bit of Bruce Brown off the bench. But I will say this, if you want to go with Bruce Brown, 22 and a half fantasy points and take less and ride the uno reverse card i wouldn't hate that one bit he came out last game he crushed but what happened to him second half he disappeared like he always does they shut that down so you can take less here i wouldn't necessarily take more i know a lot of you are going to click this last five and see green 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 but look he barely cleared it the last couple times and he's been he's absolutely been dominating the first half and he still barely got there so let's go back to my notepad okay i have bruce brown listed at 0.88 fantasy points per minute with a 7 17% usage rate. So it's going to be close because he has a high fantasy point per minute, but I don't think he's going to be able to do. I think they're going to target him. I think they're going to make sure to limit his offensive output this game. I could be way off. I could be way off base, but we'll have to wait and see. I'm probably not going to take less. I'm probably just going to fade the prop, but I'm throwing that out there because you got some of you guys like it. Austin Reeves, 27 and a half. We got it at 26 last time. I'm riding the hot hand. 27 and a half. Look at these trends. Brick up better, up better, up better, up better. 37, 36, 32, 30. He's finding his shot. He's doing it all. Rebounds, assist, even a block and steal here and there. And most importantly, which is directly what his fantasy score is tied to, he is getting buckets. His shot is falling. If they win tonight, it's going to be because he had a big game as well. Russell, Gordon, Porter Jr., all those guys are going to be stayaways for me. If you want to take a gamble on Porter Jr.'s fantasy score, I don't hate it. If you want to take his points, rebounds, or something, if I was going to take this, I would just take more. I'm personally probably not going to have it as a staple in my slip, but if you're looking for a six-man for fantasy scores, go ahead and just LeBron, Joker, Davis, Murray, Reeves, and Porter. There, you get four studs, and then you get two role players to round out your slip. And yes, it's a single game parlay. This is what we're working with, fam. We only have one game, so we only get to make single game parlays. If you go on Twitter and see all the haters, oh, you six man. Of course, it's hard to hit. We're not sitting here claiming that this is easy money. It's not. You don't have to make six man slips, folks. You can make two mans, three mans, four mans, whichever. I'm just saying, if the game plays like it did last time, which it should, it's a 226 and a close spread, okay? If we're predicting it to play the same way that it did, then these would all be correct, okay? Via the math, via the narrative, via the trends, all of it matches up. We will have to wait and see. It could be a blowout. Let's hope that it's not. Let's hope it's another high scoring game. 125 to 130 whatever that point total was i can't remember but that will cover this slip i truly believe it will if that happens if you say captain i don't believe that's going to happen i think it's going to be a defensive bout i think that it's going to be a lot slower pace then you need to stay away from all of this if that's what you truly believe your slip should look like this just like that and fade that i would literally be doing i would literally be doing that if i think it's going to be a defensive bout i'm taking less 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 and then i'll take more on jamal still because i'm i'm never going to get off jamal at 41 fantasy points and i'll still take more on reeves because he's just been deadly and i'm going to continue to ride that little fantasy score for a guy that's going to play 30 plus minutes i'm sorry i just will so it's up to you to decide what narrative i'm not here to spoon feed you i'm not here to give you quote picks that's not me i'm not your guy if you want that you'll have an option for that with my dub club but for now we are moving on from fantasy scores i'm going to show you what other props to target real quick fun props let's go where are they at dunks okay like i said last time aaron gordon he gets down low he gets the alley-oop from the joker it cashed last time one and a half dunks if you want to go there you can i personally won't i really don't do these if you want to take lebron one dunk that's always going to be in play he's the goat james and then joker 0.5 i'd stay away from that i mean but it listen all he needs is one random dunk it can happen one dunk these guys don't really dunk anymore for whatever reason i guess because they're soft as kobe would say but you know they're they're fun props minutes played if you want to go here if you think the game's going to stay close and possibly give us overtime equity i would take more on both of those but again these are just fun props i'm not going there let's go back to my handy dandy notepad and see what props that i have targeted for you soldiers all right so this is what we got so far i got 
Nikola Jokic, more than 13 and a half rebounds, 53% chance to hit, minus 135. My model projects it for 15 and a half. Now, model projections are just that. They're projections. It's not guaranteed. It's never a guarantee. If it was, I'd be a millionaire and I wouldn't even bother doing this because I just wouldn't, I wouldn't care. I would just be printing my money and I would just be sitting back on my nice million dollar pile of cash. But this is a hobby. My goal is to teach you guys to become better. So Joker, 13 and a half rebounds. I like it. All right, fam. So unfortunately, while I was doing this video, while I was recording the Joker, he got bumped up to 14. Now it's more likely to be a push than it is to be a cover. Now he needs 15 for you to get the W. I still like it. I don't hate it. I'm sorry this video is a little bit delayed. But the good news is, is that once my dub club and everything launches, which it's all taken care of, it's all ready to launch. All I have to do is click go. Okay. You'll be able to get these props early just like these two this is what it's going to be looking like kcp over 12 and a half points plus rebounds minus 130 i give you that little re right up there that explains same thing with lebron james over 15.5 rebounds plus assists minus 130 i did put that out via dub club for a test it wasn't released to the public but i did make sure that it's all working but as you can see lebron james is bumped 0.5 and pope is bumped a full point that will be the advantage of having access to my dub club i put that out last night at around 2 a.m whenever this says 1 36 a.m yesterday i wrote this up and these are what the lines were so every day on my dub club you'll be able to see all my props that i'm taking there's usually going to be about three two to five of these and then in my all access pass you'll have my slips you'll have my discord and you'll have me answering your questions there okay so let's go back over to what we got we got to deal with the bumps i still like anthony davis more 12 and a half rebounds 52 percent chance to hit minus 125 the model projects it for 14 and a half which is two rebounds higher than what we're getting him at so i like it next the biggest sell of them all rui hachimura under 17.5 pra but also under 12 and a half real points which has been bumped down to 12 unfortunately as you can see here it's minus 125 my model projects him for right around 17.5 pra however the books have his point line at 11.5. So we're getting a 0.5 discount to take the under. I really don't think he's going to have that good of a game again. He was put on to stop Joker, I believe, in the second half they did that. Let's take a look at what he, how he did last game, okay? He played 28 minutes, and look at this. He took 11 field goal attempts and made eight of them. 72% field goal percentage, okay? It's 72% field goal percentage, 100% three-point percentage. He was one for one from three-pointers. He didn't have any free throws. He This is, listen, this is unsustainable. 72%, I will take my chances and take the under on that point. Even with 28 minutes, he only had 17 points, one assist, and one block. He had no rebounds and no and he only had one assist. So I do like the under PRA, but I also like under points. It's dealer's choice. Whatever you guys want to choose, it's up to you. Both of them are in play, which is why I have both of them selected like this, because like I said, it's dealer's choice. I really wish that was 12.5, but it, it is 12. As you can see, he is right around that mark when he does play. Jared Vanderbilt has, is pretty much out of the rotation. I believe Hatch is going to be soaking up those minutes too. It is what it is. I'm taking the under. If he sells, he sells. I'm not afraid. I, guys, you know the volatility utility in this this we're gambling here so you know save your tears for someone who cares because the captain doesn't cry he crushes all right so i've covered prize picks in detail with everything that i want to cover okay so now i had an mlb play for you guys but the game already the game already started dylan cease over five and a half k's hopefully he gets there for me but again that's why it's going to be important to be in that dub club you feel me all right this is what that'll look like this is my website here so you guys can see this is what it's going to be like for those of you who are wondering and when i when nfl season starts there will be a new tab which will have all my DraftKings content my player pools my plays of the day all that stuff will be there all, all right. right so here we are on underdog fantasy where if you use promo code crush all you have to do is deposit with promo code crush you'll get 100 percent of whatever you deposit 10 to 100 they match it plus you'll get a free month trial to my discord all access the second it launches i will personally dm you a code once it's launched you'll have free 30 days and then after that it'll be on you if you want to renew that'll give you my gold all ac all access package all you have to do is take the screenshot and prove to me that you signed up that being said lonnie walker under 10 and a half pra lower i like it Jamal Murray, higher, 42.5 fantasy points. It's a little bit higher over here than it is on prize picks, but I still like it both to clear. This is the two men that I'll be taking. If you want to tail, tail. If you want to fade, fade. It's up to you guys. Either way, we did our underdog content. 
Okay, one last thing I wanted to do was check out Outlier Bet, and I wanted to show you guys where I got that Hachimura data points, okay? Take a look at his last 20 here for under 12 and a half points. It's minus 125, but look at his hit rate. He's He hasn't really been clearing that line that much, even in the last 10. The last 10's even better. He's only cleared it twice out of 10 times. Not that that means too much. I don't put a lot of stock in that, but it is a good for your eye test. It is good to see what we're dealing with. All right, another thing you can see here on the matchup data, it gives you Anthony Davis foot sore LeBron James foot soreness they're both gonna play let's be realistic I mean that's there for you to digest what I like most about this app is the insights okay I always check the props but you can go to the trends you can go to the games anything you want to do it'll tell you the spread it'll tell you the value this is invaluable guys I use this on the daily I want you guys to use it I'm not just saying that to get a sell okay because I really don't benefit that much from it at all if you want to get this app the link is in my bio you get a seven day free trial I implore you to have some type of research tools do not blindly tail it is important that you do your own research and have your own process and just compare it to what i say i'm just one man the goal is to get you to have your own process that me makes you a winner all right and that's it that's all i got you made it to the end of the video i appreciate each and every one of you yesterday i had a hell of a day and i never curse on live videos so if you know i'm saying that you know it must have been something i don't need to go into details i appreciate the well wishes i'm fine i'll be all right we're back at it today let's grind this out let's hopefully get a w yesterday's game was eh we had a lot of right calls we had a lot of wrong calls that's gonna happen game ones are always volatile here we are with game two we got wnba tipping off to tomorrow cannot wait to have more props to choose from that is key i will let you know as soon as i launch this website to the public and my packages are up it will be very shortly i appreciate you guys my youtube has gone from zero to five thousand we're on the road to 10k subs and i cannot thank you guys enough i appreciate that every single one of you i give you all a big salute if you want like and subscribe it helps your boy out appreciate it good luck and let's crush